So the next question was, um, what would I tell someone who has a friend who's struggling with an eating disorder? So the answer to this one kind of goes along with the last question, kind of what I would say to someone who is struggling. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that they know on a daily basis, I mean, that doesn't mean you call them and harass them, but make sure they know that this does not define them. It's not who you are. Um, and then I gave reasons to that in my previous answer. So there's a link um, to that previous video um, right here on this video and below this video too. So you can watch that because it expands more on that concept. Um, another thing is to never let them give up on themselves and to never give up on them. You know, people who are, you know, in these situations, when I was in this situation, I was, you know, trying to recover. I, I had enough self-doubt on my own. And so the fact that my friends and family never gave up on me, that was a huge deal. And sometimes, you know, my brother had to remind me almost on a daily basis that I could do it. And yeah, it got redundant, but I needed that redundancy. I needed to hear it every day. Um, for someone who isn't even ready to recover yet, um, I would recommend, like I said in the previous answer, you know, even if they if they're interested in reading a blog or interested in reading a book, but maybe they're too embarrassed to go buy it themselves, go buy it for them. Don't, I wouldn't suggest buying it without their consent. I wouldn't just go buy a book and then hand it to them. That can feel a bit like an attack, but you know, if you talk to them about it and they say, yeah, do you know what? I think I would read a book, but you know, I don't know if I want to go get it. Like if they start kind of going like that, then tell them, Hey, do you know what? I'm going by the bookstore anyways. Why don't I just pick it up for you? And just, you know, do that just a little thing that, to help, you know, the more you can just show that you're not supporting their behaviors, but supporting their desire to change and supporting them in the process, you know, through recovery and, and telling them that you believe in them. And, you know, I think it's important to remember you can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. You can't. And so, I mean, in those situations, all you can do is pray for them, be there for them believe in them, you know, even if you have to do it from a distance and just, you know, know in your own mind that, you know, you're there when they need you, when they approach you, you know, don't feel bad or guilty because they aren't ready for help because at least you know in your heart that you are there when they are ready. So don't carry that weight on yourself.